What's up, Squirrel Friends? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and back, back, back again, we have the viral sensation. <laughs> we have one of your favorite guests. Uh, she's back. She's hilarious. Sarah Highland. Yay! Thank you. Um, last time you were here, uh, we dressed up like, like, like butter churners. Butter churners, yeah. I was and... We went viral, and we're going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, I did. You were like, I stopped looking after 1.3 million. Okay, I didn't mean to be regal about it. I know, as soon as I said it, I was like, that was pompous and bold. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, that was a lot. And I, as soon as I said it, I was like, that was disgusting. No. I did. I did. No, but I'm so glad you're back because this week we're giving you topical onesies. <laughs> yeah, that's the category. Okay. Topical onesies. I'm giving you a squirrel that might be on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> and you are mm -hmm. giving Fred. I'm giving Fred is always. I feel like Fred is in Peanut's shadow. Mm -hmm. You know, because Fred never gets talked about. You know what? I want to say Peanut is Michael Jackson. Fred is Farrah Fawcett. Okay, I was I was gonna say another Jackson, but you went to a completely. Well, they different died family. on the same day. Yeah, and no one cares about Farrah Fawcett. But Farrah Fawcett was a legend. Yeah. We need to remember Fred. Okay. Well, <laughs> no, well, that's, it was in, because Fred. <laughs> Am I right? Am I crazy? <laughs> we should start a t-shirt. That's a remembering Fred. Just yeah. Just Fred. Uh, can we cue, um, I will remember you. Oh. <laughs> a nice little Harmonize. slow montage of a raccoon in a dumpster. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's what this week is bringing. Yeah. That's the energy we are going into. How are you? How was your week? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I think I'm the first guest since 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 the, the election. election. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean it. It's stunning. I think it's still. It's still. Um, I think now for me personally, there's a place of like you just had. There's an acceptance. Like, yeah, this, this is it right? is what it is. It is. It is what it is. You know. And your wife Jen mm. went and like photographed Kamala she while did. she was on the campaign trail. She did. Did you go with her? I did not. That is not one that I was invited to. Mm. Um, but I was there. It was kind of so. Jen, my wife, is a photographer, and she photographed Kamala for the Advocate for mm -hmm. the, the Advocate before. And this this time around, we were actually outside filling out our ballots, and she has her little Kamala, you know, Walt hat and whatever, or Harris Waltz. And we were getting ready to fill out our ballots, and she gets a phone call, and she looks at her phone, and she's like, huh, it's Washington, D.C. And I was like, huh. Yeah. And so she let it go to voicemail, and you know, like, when now the voicemails come up, and you can read it, and she's uh -huh. reading it, and it, obviously, you see the White House in the, you know, the readable version of the voicemail. So she picks it up, and it was the White House. But who was the who was the person? Uh, I mean, I don't know the name of the person. And how do you know it's not spam? Because I'd be like, okay. Because she's photographed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If, like, if someone's like, hi, this is... Uh, valid. This is, this, yeah, yeah we, we want you to come to D.C. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a valid point. <laughs> like, I would be, yeah, I'd be like, okay, sure. Prove yourself. Yeah. No, she she knew Is the Is Puerto Rico part of the United States? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> we have questions. Right. These are all tracking. <laughs> yeah. I, absolutely. And my like American if, history, throw right. it at them. Yeah, let them know. And if I got that phone call too, a quick click. Yeah. Right? Not in the mood. Mm -hmm. right? I'm eating. And so she um but she knew the person because she had been with this team before. Mm -hmm. right? So yeah, they were like, Hey, can you jump on a plane and be in Vegas tomorrow? For the rally. Oh, it was in Vegas, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so she, yeah, she just got on a plane and went and photographed her behind the scenes. And it's crazy because they have editorial photographers that go and shoot her, obviously. But Jen's job was to kind of do like behind the scenes and get like intimate moments mm. with Kamala. Intimate Kamala. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So that, so she got on a plane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like lingerie. Yes! Like, um, mm, like, like billowing a, fabric. Yeah. Fruit, just, fruit plates. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Like, mm hmm. Right. No, Seduction. Seduction. Incense. Right. Mm hmm. Crystals. Yeah. Right. Whispers. <laughs> 
just Kamala Lo- as a human sushi tray. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Listening to Inya. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And with candlelights. Oh, uh, I mean. Feathers and masseuses. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. Just intimate <laughs> Kamala. Yeah. There was a tarot reading. It was crazy. <laughs> I know. Didn't go well there either. Yeah, she, didn't, she got the death card. <laughs> mm. It was the death mm. of swords. I was like, this doesn't look good. Moving on. Well, I'm the mm. same way as you because I literally had to do Jeff Lewis Live the day after the election. Yeah. And I was like, ugh. Mm-hmm. And I woke up like, oh, shit, here we go. Put my big boy shoes on. Like, let's go. And we went in there and, like, didn't talk about politics at all. Yeah. And it was wonderful. And people were calling in and being like, thank you so much for not talking about politics. And I'm like, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. there's more fun things going on in the world than politics, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then I had to deal with my friends or several of my friends, several uh, colleagues, if you will, Mm -hmm. who are now going into this whole, like, if you voted for Trump, unfollow me immediately. You're dead. (laughs) Dead, I say. (laughs) And I'm going, okay, unfollow. Like, because you're insane. Now you're giving me a reason to go pause, Hmm. mute. To the person that was giving the big, like, unfollow. Yes. I'm like, now you're just like, just breathe. We're okay. Yeah. I mean, I definitely am along that lines where I think it was so... Um, every single time, I, I, I need to breathe. Like mm-hmm. I need, because that's the thing is too, I do have the knowledge. I've been on the planet long enough that there is other things going on in sure. the election that are good. Mm-hmm. And so I th- we talked a little bit about that earlier of like, I don't really necessarily believe in, I, I get where people are coming from. Mm-hmm. Like if you voted for him, you voted against my rights. And okay. Re- oh, yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Now you're that, <laughs> now you're crazy. <laughs> And it's okay to be upset, yeah, and it's yeah. okay to be butthurt, and it's okay to have, like, feelings. But at the end of the day, there's way better things than an election. Yeah. And I'll mm. mention some right now. Go for it. Hmm. Avocado toast. Oh, I love avocado. Yeah. On sourdough with, or a nice brioche. A brioche. Yeah, with a nice goat um, cheese. Uh, a bath bomb. Okay. Um, and that's it. That's really, <laughs> that's really it. I think that's all. Um... No, Those like are a, concentrated good, though. Yeah, like a good, like, buttered popcorn in a movie theater. Ooh. A good a good waterfall. You know, so many things. I have a waterfall in my backyard. As you should. Like wow, dip. Hollywood elite. And then a cold plunge. You just have a And then I swim casual, with the koi fish. Oh, God, well, mm-hmm. you're not going to swim with the koi fish that we're about to talk about here in a little bit. But um, let's get into it. Oh, wait, I forgot. Are there topical oh, koi fish? Oh, wait, hold, hold on. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize. Okay. This episode of the Just Saying Podcast is brought to you in part by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store. We all love that. And count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and and affordable. That's why HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Now listen up, the holiday season is almost here. I know, I know, hold on, you've got this, and we're all looking for ways to spend and stress less. HelloFresh makes mealtime nearly hassle-free with delicious, home-delivered, chef-crafted recipes that come together so quick and are less expensive than takeout. Plus, check out HelloFresh Market for over 100 add-on items like desserts, quick breakfasts, snacks, and a lot, lot more. This month, they even have Thanksgiving items to help wow a crowd with minimal effort on your part, not that anyone has to know. Wink, wink. Now, listen up. I love HelloFresh because it's so simple. They have everything pre-portioned for you. Everything you need to measure and put into the recipe is all there for you. And it's so much fun. You can get your kids involved in on it. It's great for just a single person or a family. It's all portioned directly to how you want it. And all the recipes are so, so good. I had the chicken with maple Dijon sauce, and you guys, my taste buds went pop. And it was so easy to make. Evan and I made it within 20 minutes, and we had a fantastic, delicious meal with no waste. And we both gave each other a nice high five afterwards because we felt like we did something awesome. So now my days are really busy, and HelloFresh makes cooking easy enough that I can actually fit it into my day. Now listen up here. Get 10 free meals at HelloFresh.com slash free saying. 
That's F-R-E-E-S-A-Y-I-N. Applied across seven boxes. New subscribers only. Varies by plan. That's 10 free HelloFresh meals. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash FreeSayin, F-R-E-E-S-A-Y-I-N. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Saturday. Okay. I went to 33 Taps, formerly Stash. Mm-hmm. It is another sports bar that West Hollywood has demanded because mm-hmm. we don't have enough sports bars. Gym bar, high tops, mm-hmm. 33 taps, mm-hmm. Rocco's. We've got them all. <laughs> and so Evan went to Georgia, right? So we're watching the Georgia Ole Miss game, mm-hmm. which Ole Miss let Georgia have it. Okay. And we're watching the football game, which I'm like, ah, this is fun. <laughs> And all of a sudden, we hear... It was and back. it was like 30 pickup trucks, mm-hmm. F-150s, yep. dune buggies, monster trucks, okay. driving down Santa Monica Boulevard with the MAGA flags and all that shit. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's real. Orange County came for a visit. Orange County, Inland Empire, <laughs> Riverside Realness. Rancho Cucamonchkeys. Yes. Yeah. They, I mean, I, I, I'm assuming they chose to drive through West Hollywood to make a point. But they had their megaphones. I'm sorry, their megaphones. <laughs> and um, just yelling, you know, slurs that begin with really? F. Oh, yeah. And uh, we all were just like sitting there like, we're watching a f- Football game, isn't this like what you want? <laughs> like we're we're in this. You're really butching it up, yeah. And it was just so like, oh wow, this is this is real. Yeah. And like, of course, Evan's like, I want to go outside and see what it's all about. And I'm like, Evan, get the hell inside. <laughs> like, like it's a storm cellar, right? I'm like, Evan, the wind, it's picking up. <laughs> yeah. And like, well, he's like, I just want to see what it's like. And I'm like, you don't know what their intentions are. You don't know if they want to like fight or shoot or whatever. But I'm like, get in here. So, yeah, it was kind of crazy. Like, that was, like, the reality of it all. And I was like, well, hmm. Yeah. But also, if they do it, like, again, this week, I'm like, we get it. Yeah. But that happened, you know what? That happened the first time. That happened in the, the first election with Trump. Like, we were oh, yeah. in yeah, Silver That like, Beverly Hills nonsense. Yeah, they would I know. all, they, just out of, on a Saturday. You're like, what are you, why? Why? What are you, what are you, what are you doing with your day? Exactly. That's what I said. Yeah. Like, everyone in the bar was just like, look at these losers Ew. on their Saturday. Yeah. Like, go go somewhere. No, I know. It's like when you had time when you were younger years, you used to prank people. Yeah. It's like, where is the free time? Where is the free time? What are we? And they all looked the same. It mm. was like, just like Duck Dynasty, Full Bush. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. and they all looked weathered. They all Duck looked Dynasty. the same. Yeah. They all looked like um, blank profiles on Grinder. You know what oh, I mean? No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that. <laughs> Toe tapping in a bathroom stall. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. At a truck stop by a stall. Which is kind of my favorite thing now is that the, that there's like a group of guys who are like, oh, if we're gonna play this game, mm. I'm gonna start putting out all the the DL guys that have like hit me up in my apps and stuff. And I'm like, expose them. Yeah. I'm like, go for it. Why would you not? That would be the fun part of it. Rather that than That would be the great part. I mean, if yeah. they're breaking grinder at the RNC, just like break them in life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean like that that's the stuff that I'm like, well go for it. Go but for the it. unfollowing the blocking, it doesn't that's whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? If you're gonna do something, make a divot. Thank you. That's what I would say. Yeah. Like, if you're really going to, like, want to— If you're really going to do something, like, wreck their family. That's what I mean. (laughs) Do you see what I'm saying? Like, go for broke. Like, don't don't go Don't whine about it. Wreck their lives. (laughs) Yeah. Take a tractor and blow down their house. Like, that's what I'm saying. That— that's what we were talking about before. Is like I understand where people are coming from. Yeah. But at the same time, that doesn't do anything other than you know cause the bigger divide, which is what is happening, which is what none of us want, but mm-hmm. it's what we're facilitating happening mm-hmm. more. Does that make sense? But yeah. Justice for Fred and Peanut. Okay. That's what we're saying. This is what they would want. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you know what else they would want? What? Okay, it's happening. Okay. The Wicked movie is upon us. Mm. Um, I have just embraced it. There is an ad. There is a commercial every five seconds. Yeah. It is everywhere. You can't escape it. Um, I already bought tickets. I bought tickets. <laughs> Thanksgiving Day. The tickets have been bought. 
Okay. Um, but it is insane. Like everyone's, there's a collaboration for everywhere from like uh, Voda Spa Candles to Con Air to uh, uh, Stanley Cups to makeup palettes. Like everybody has a wicked collaboration. Base Luggage. I'm also trying to get sponsors. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not um, the squirrel hair fix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brush it back, peanut. Yeah. Oh, the this podcast sway. is nuts. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there is just wicked collabs everywhere. The premiere was in LA over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Everybody went except for us. Yeah. Um, every PR gay was there. All of them. And they all were wearing just like... I was mad. Just gender fluid fabric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? What would you have worn if you went? I would have worn probably gender fluid fabric. Something that's like, something like that I would wear in Oz. Like, you know, I don't know if I would wear like ruby slippers. That's too much. Is it though? I don't know. I mean, actually. Uh, uh, maybe like ruby, ruby slipper boots. <laughs> You're like, what? I'd wear like a ruby. I was like, are they up? Yeah. I'd wear like a ruby slipper boot or something. I don't know. I'd wear I a flip flop. What would you wear? You'd wear flip flops? <laughs> yeah. Just just like a Munchkin just, Land ambassador. Yeah, just one. Yeah. Just one flip flop. I'd wear something flowy and like <laughs> definitely emerald green. Yeah, just but everyone, everyone looked bitchy as shit on the red carpet. I was like, uh Was anybody the Wicked Witch? Was anybody did anybody? They all were. The... Like they were all because like they all were like citizens of Oz. Right. You know? You're going to get mad at me, but I've never seen the actual musical. On Wicked. Broadway? Yeah. I saw it and I forgot it. Oh, no. I've also <laughs> never seen Cats. Why did you forget it? Because I was on a horrible date. Oh, no. And the guy that I was on a date with was singing the entire <gasps> show. No. And I was mortified. And I would like, like my butthole was like, Ugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I blocked everything out because I was just sitting there. Do you remember that lady? Like, there's mm -hmm. that clip of that woman. And it's like, when was the last time that you were intimate with your husband? And, and the guy's like, this morning. And they cut to her and she's like, <laughs> And she's like, Miss Jackson. <laughs> Miss Jackson. Where did she go? I just went to another place beyond yeah. the rainbow. Yeah. And I completely yeah. blacked out like what the show was about. Oh. Because then while he was singing, a flying monkey mm -mm. looked at me and went, shh. <laughs> Swear to God, have no. you ever been hushed by a flying monkey? I have. No, that's what they do at the show. They come the down show. the aisle and we were in like the orchestra seating and like he's over here just like defying gravity and the monkey's like shh <laughs> to him to him did to he, us because I was there I was there I have never wanted a house to fall on me in the middle of a show <laughs> in my whole life oh no it was awful one was his voice good and two did he know all the words mediocre knew all the words. Oh. The worst combination. It was bad. It was so awful. That's the worst. Because you could have a good voice and know some of the words. But so also, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's not your show. You're not in it. And he, like, knew some of the cast members. So he's like, Natalie! <laughs> like, in the show. <laughs> I was like... Oh, no, he's just... Yeah. Cecile. He was like, Sing, Quinn. I know, I know you, bitch. Glenda's like in her bubble, like, shut the fuck up. And you're like, there's no place like home. Oh, there's I know. No Seriously. Like home. There's no place like home. I'm just there's changing no my flight. Like, like, there's no place like home. Yeah. There's no place like home. Get me out of here. Why are you on a flight? Where were you? I was in New York. Ah! That's In where they show whole Wicked. State. <laughs> whole other state. <laughs> what? What was he from New York, and you met him? No, there? it was well. Here? No, it was like a whole thing. Like we met earlier. We met like months before and had like this long distance relationship. And I was like drunk when I met him, um, and we mm -hmm. kept this like phone thing happening. And then I got to New York, and I was like, oh. <gasps> oh, when you actually met in person? And yeah, I was like, oh, you're oh. not it. <laughs> and you had to sit through a whole show with him. Mm -hmm. So did you break it off after that? Oh, yeah, I left, and that was it. Yeah. Did he kind of know? Oh, he knew. Did he sing goodbye? Goodbye. No. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, my love. Just you and I <laughs> defying gravity. Oh. Uh, and also, I this movie's so two sorry. hours and 40 minutes long. Land went and saw it. Land went to the fucking premiere. 
Not that that's like a diss to you, but like, if Land went... Is that it? Did you like it, Land? Loved it. I loved it. it yeah. Was great. I just sucked on my um, squirrel claw. Your squirrel I just claw? Let you you know. thought it was a I straw? I went for the straw and I sucked on it. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I, I think... Lay, I just fornicated with a literal... <laughs> Squirrel claw. Well, if you love fornicating, mm-hmm. this is the story because mm-hmm. going from Wicked to the merch for Wicked, uh-huh. it's funny because John Sosis, you remember John, right? Yes, I do. Yes, love John. Uh, he was my producer here years right. ago when we started this. He actually was in a store and he is like, oh, let me check the Wicked toys. And he flipped it around and he was like, oh, yep, it's a porn site. And I like was like, oh my God. And I was like, it sure is. So I didn't know if it was like real or a plant. Mm-hmm. And then this story came out today yeah. that many people are complaining that the Wicked merch has a porn website on it. So this was the thing. The Wicked movie merchandising turned into a nightmare for Mattel over the weekend as news broke that a web address listed on the packaging for character dolls took consumers to an adult pornographic site. And it did. I went there. <laughs> I checked it out to make sure it was real. I do research for this show. I was going to do it. You beat me to it because I knew this was going to be talked about. And? I do research for the show. Right, right, right. The toy company apologized on Sunday. It says Mattel was made aware of a misprint on the packaging of the Mattel Wicked Collection dolls, primarily sold in the U.S., which intended to direct consumers to the official wickedmovie.com landing page. We deeply regret this unfortunate error and are taking immediate action to remedy this. Parents are advised Mm. that the misprinted incorrect website is not appropriate for children. Consumers who already have the product are advised to discard the product packaging or obscure the link and may contact Mattel customer service for further information. So yeah, it should have said wickedmovie.com, but it said www.wicked.com, which is an adult website. P. Diddy bought all of them. Stop! Yeah, bought all of them. So when you went to the website, what was it? It was just like, "Uh," yeah. It was just some girl just going, "Uh, uh." yeah. (laughs) I'm like, was she in the jungle? Uh, uh." Well, was you know, she, she was in some sort of outfit, <laughs> doing some sort of thing, but I'm not going to tell you what. Really? No, it's just like it's just like a like a wicked. It's like wicked porn. It's like it's like a porn <laughs> site. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's disgusting. I did that in a raccoon costume. <laughs> I, oh, I wouldn't kill myself. But I'm just like, can we I'm just? Sorry. Can somebody? Can I someone, feel dirty? What happened? I'm sorry, I did that. No, <laughs> no. This is the podcast to do that. Make, make a fool. Can we do that on a GIF? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can oh, now that. you're getting crazy. Do you think we do GIFs here? Oh my God. <laughs> but here's the thing. You have one job. Right. <laughs> one. One, one job. Friend. How do you not, especially with everything going on in the world, you're going to put a porn site on a child's toy? Fired. Fired. Immediately. But I do, I did hear that a bunch of people are now are buying them so they'll be collectors. Collector's items. items. I they thought can the same them. thing. That's why did John Sosa's buy one? Oh, I don't know. Probably. I think he would. Because I th- feel like it would be worth a, a right? A significant amount of money. I would think so, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. www.wicked.com. Don't Google it, stuff will come up. <laughs> um, but That's other funny. Mattel toys, um, that have had to be recalled were the Polly Pocket Pussy. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, Is that a real thing? Booty shoots and ladders. Booty shoots. Yeah. Booty Um, shoot, booty shoot, booty shoots. Yeah. Uh, Power Bottom Rangers. Okay. (laughs) Um, All had to be recalled. Yeah. There's just, just some of the many, but they will be collector's items. Uh, one day. Okay. Mm-hmm. Shoot some pussies. Yeah. Oh, and we also. I did I actually, bring a doll for I went, you. Yeah, we went yeah. to Target and we found another doll that is very scandalous. Um, <laughs> this is the one of the new edition of the Bratz dolls. They're just letting it all <laughs> hang out now. Um, who is who is this? Does she have a name? What is so, her story? The story behind that was was oh, I was leaving. I feel like I'm on an Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> like I'm like. <laughs> Here we have Jezebel. 
How much um, you think that's worth? I, I was say, in my in my <laughs> grandma's attic, and it was sitting right up top on them chess piece games. And I was like, shit. And I told my husband Earl, I was like, God damn, look at that. You think that's worth something? He's like, shit, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because he got it from his mom's trailer mm -hmm. back in 1987, I think that was. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be somewhat vintage, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I've turned in marbles and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done this before. And those were worth at least... <clears throat> I swear to God, I sold some of them at flea marks for 10, 10 bucks a pop. 10? <laughs> yeah. Well, no shit. This is from the I'm rare, sitting on gold mines. This is from the Rare Harlot Collection. Yep. Um, the makeup is on point. She has a nice is cat eye on that. Very voluptuous in form. I would say this is from the 60s or some shit. This is definitely from the 60s yeah. vintage era. Yeah. Um, Look at the knockers. Would, I would say this is probably roughly. Um, Twenty dollars. Oh wow! Holy shit! Yeah. Holy shit! You I could, told my wife I was I was wanting I wasn't gonna quit my job, but now you told me that. I told you I, that's what I told her. I said shit. I mean, yeah. wait. If you want to take retirement early, let's do it because I think we're about ready to get some money rolling in. Well, I was gonna say twenty dollars, ten dollar vouchers each to a Waffle House. I of love your a choice. voucher. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Well, I woke up today very feeling really unhopeful, but then I came here and did this road show, and man, I'm walking out of here a, 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 a kind of a goddamn millionaire. Woo! That's awesome. Where did Living you, high on the hog. Where did you get that? I don't know what just happened there. No, that like, was I called scene work. Scene. Yes. Scene. I've never watched the antique road mm. show, but the, I, like, I've i caught splickets, right? Just a mirror uh, uh, a window into the soul mm -hmm. of people that do go on there. And that is every single person, just the small amount oh, of yeah. scene. Oh, yeah. Are they always good? find some haunted artifact yeah. in their attic and they get like thousands of dollars yeah. for it. Where did you get that? Because that literally was in your car, and I'm like, bring it in. Sure thing. Well, what happened is, um, before I left the house this morning, mm -hmm. because I try to do my research, because you are like the king of pop culture. I, I'm really not, but I try. But but, <laughs> but I kept thinking, I was like, what is going on in pop culture right mm -hmm. now? Because the only thing that is being talked about is mm -hmm. Elon Musk, and fucking, I, I could, whatever, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all. So I was like looking at pop culture, things that are happening outside of that, and I was leaving the house, and my wife, sent me the Mattel thing. And then I was walking out the door and we bought these two little vintage dolls mm -hmm. at like a flea market. And I have a brunette and a blonde and they were supposed to be us. <laughs> me and Jen. Bratz, Bratz dolls. Bratz dolls. With a Z. Right. And so I left the blonde at home and she's like, take this one just in case Justin wants to talk about wow. it. Wow. So she knew. Mm -hmm. She knew. They're like, we're going to bring it up. She's really smart. So that's why that's why that... Well, in my trunk. speaking of sexy dolls, right? Oh, this next story says Lamar Odom is a sick freak. <laughs> That's how it starts. That's the article. Poor guy, can't get a break. Bless his heart. Fans call out former NBA star for buying a sex doll and naming it after his ex-wife Khloe Kardashian. Former NBA star Lamar Odom has had his share of trouble since retiring from the NBA. The former NBA Sixth Man of the Year has battled a drug and sexual addiction that nearly led to the two-time champion losing his life back in 2015. Remember that? The Bunny Ranch? Um, when he had like a week-long fentanyl spree? When he was found unresponsive in a Nevada brothel. <gasps> Uh, let's see. Uh, Lamar Odom, who had the honor of playing championship ball alongside Kobe Bryant, was once married to Khloe Kardashian. He seemingly never got over the fact that the former couple didn't make it because of his cheating ways. Remember, he was like a storyline mm -hmm. in the Kardashians. Yeah. And he cheated on her, then went off to the bunny ranch and did fentanyl, you know. <laughs> you know. Odom and Kardashian married in 2009. The couple had their own reality show, Chloe and Lamar. They divorced in 2016 due to Odom's sobriety issues. In the years since, Odom released a documentary called Lamar Odom Reborn, detailing his experimentation with psychedelics to treat his depression and drug addiction. He's been very open and honest about his addictions and the depths to which he sunk and what he hopes people will learn from it. Well, uh... Also, he went on to an appearance of Celebrity Big Brother. When asked about his ex-wife, he said it would be a blessing just to be in her presence. So he still has feelings for her. He's tried to win her back. And no. Well, he wasted no time letting everyone know that he named a sex doll after his ex, Khloe Kardashian. <gasps> Even posting a video to YouTube, which was shared by Savvy Universe, uh, where he oddly made comments about the doll in reference to Kardashian. Can we, is there more? Let's see. Oh, right there. He says, I can see her ass from the front. She's shaped like a woman. 
I can see her thighs. He even joked about how the doll could help springboard him into doing women's fashion. This will make me probably get into women's fashion too. I'm dead serious because I like clothes. Well, you're officially insane. It's obvious that Odom needs help if he believes owning a sex doll is something that's going to inspire him to make women's clothes. Oh, that's a lot to unpack. That's a lot to unpack. Now. Yeah. Would you rather, mm. okay, say I left the guy at Wicked, right? <laughs> and he's like, Justin, no. Mm -hmm. And then he gets a sex doll that resembles me <laughs> and names it Justin. Justin. Right. Would you be like okay with that? Or would you not be okay with it because then it got out into the public that there's a sex doll that looks like you? Now, Wendy Cummings has a sex doll that like looks like her and she will like let you know. But she uses it for a comedy thing, right? Um, mm. <laughs> I don't. Am I wrong? Yes, when it's not like short circuiting every five minutes. Okay. Like it's not, like that's what I would be afraid of. It's like you're having sexy time with the sex doll and it bites your hoo ha, you know? Well, the thing is with the sex doll, it's not that is not that's a full functioning doll. Like he's getting it out of oh, a yeah. actual box. Mm -hmm. That they, there's like wiring and it does it talk? Does it talk to Not him? yet. It will though one day. But it's kind of like robotic. It's not just like a regular sex doll who opens your mouth like eh, and like <laughs> yeah. and has like holes, right? Isn't yeah. that how that goes? I think it's just holes and latex. Where yeah, when their legs just go up. When yeah. They just they don't actually. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Is this an a full blown this Hole doll? Latex. Will, holes and latex. Okay, yeah. but no talking. No talking, unless he. Because here's the thing. When you have that much money, you can, like, do whatever, obviously. That's what we've, le that's what we've learned over this past week. Right. Um, but it's also, like, if he can take her voice and, mm -hmm. like, put it in a box or yeah. something and, yeah. like, put it in her throat, a la Ariel, Little Mermaid, <laughs> yeah. Vanessa Shell. <laughs> um, uh, yes. And, and she's like, yeah, yeah Lamar. Literally. Sing. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. maybe, I don't know. But it is kind of weird because... Kind of. It's very strange. That's so crazy. Because here's where I kind of want it to go. Hmm. He starts taking her around like one of those weirdos <laughs> in the car. You know what I mean? Like in the drive-thru and you, hey, Lamar, who's that? <laughs> this is Chloe. And she's like... Hi, Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you washed Chloe out? About four months ago. <laughs> she smells like tortilla chips. We yeah, you have tell. no idea why. Yeah. Oh, no. I know. I know. I mean, and I'm wondering, like, what... Like, does Chloe make that phone call? <laughs> like, she, to Lamar? To Lamar. Being like, Lamar. Like, why are you doing this? I 1,000% think that Chloe has probably made that phone call to Lamar. I don't... Several they don't times. really hold back on yeah. communication and the Kardashian family. I mean, I think, they all are kind of like, you know... I think the mom has called. I think the sisters have called. Lamar and been yeah. like, hey, can you not like <laughs> post videos saying like, I'm going to name my sex doll Chloe? Yeah. yeah. Name it, it something else like cinnamon or sage. <laughs> not cinnamon. Yeah. yeah but, but the thing is, that it's, but somebody like him, it's, they could, don't they? I mean, they all have struggles. There's not, these athletes are not known for being like, the this is the struggle. No, of, this is the struggle. Right. Like everyone else is like, you know, paying, you know, $13 for cauliflower, but this is their struggle, <laughs> right? They're just like, I can't believe it. Lamar has a sex doll and he named it after me. <laughs> My week is shattered. That's it. <laughs> That's the struggle. The Kardashian struggle is real. Yeah. I can't believe that Courtney didn't have her Irwan smoothie this week that was named after her. <laughs> it went to someone else. Like, that's the yeah. struggle. Yeah, counting money. Yeah. Kim Kardashian wore the Princess Diana cross necklace, and it caused outrage. <laughs> and a rash. And a rash. Yuck. Yeah. Well, moving forward, mm. we have... You mentioned koi fish. I cannot believe... That what? you've brought it all the way back around to a koi fish. I had yeah. no idea koi fish were such a topical. Well, yeah. Object. Get ready. Okay. Because this one's about to scare the shit out of this you. This was an art piece. A man's pet fish became an internet sensation over his strikingly human-like face that some say looks like Phil Mitchell. <laughs> who, who is Phil Mitchell? <laughs> who is Phil Mitchell? Who is Phil Mitchell? 
Let's see. Um, a family pet has scored fame on social media after spectators spotted he had some very peculiar facial markings. A four-year-old koi carp, Bob, from Leeds, has become an internet sensation after they noticed he had an uncannily human-like face. His owner brought the friendly koi carp to live in his garden pond three years ago after purchasing him for 150 pounds. So this is like... Phil Mitchell's probably some <gasps> British. That is it's a dub. That's the face. That's that scary. Look, is that real? I mean, there's a. It feels contrasty. Like somebody put a little like contrast on that thing to give it a little bit of a oomph. I don't think face. so. That's just straight up. Have you been to um, Franklin Canyon? No. It's my favorite hike ever. Okay. But don't go because I don't want you there. <laughs> Not you, but like Classic. people in general. You no, know what I, I was? Hate? I was on board. I was like, no, I you get can it. go, I but I don't want other people finding out about it because, that. like, there's nothing that pisses me off more than people on Instagram who have like a, an account called like Hidden LA, yeah. and they like tell everybody our secrets, and they're like, "Here's the best hike ever in LA. No one goes here, so come here with your trash <laughs> and your beatboxes and turn them on high. Don't you know, forget your vapes. Oh, yeah. don't, yes, and I'm just like, no. But it has. Yeah. There's a pond area where they have turtles and ducks. And koi fish, mm -hmm. but it's like they're trash animals. Okay. Meaning, like, they were either gifted to somebody or they were used in a movie or mm -hmm. some drunk person went to like uh, Yamashiro and like kidnapped a koi fish. And then they were like, I'm going to care for this forever. And then it gets too big for the <laughs> bucket of water. Mm -hmm. So then they take it to the park and just dump it in the pond. Mm -hmm. So now there's like these two giant. Maybe three giant koi fish just swimming in this pond, and everyone's like, "Are these, <laughs> are these um supposed to be here?" And I'm like, "No, no. Every species of turtle is here is not supposed to be here. The ducks are just kind of like I don't know where we are. <laughs> like it's just a Hollywood pond. Nobody knows what to do. Are they okay? I mean, they're fine. Like <laughs> I mean, they're just giant fish. But I don't like that's a face. I don't like it. That looks like that is." <laughs> Like that doesn't look like Phil Mitchell. That looks like Voldemort. It looks like it kind of has teeth. Yeah. Like there's like a, a gap. The tooth. child like <laughs> must die. That's what that looks like. <laughs> it reminds me of like when people used to see Jesus and their butter toast. Do you remember that? Like, Is that not my favorite country song or what? <laughs> I love the Virgin Mary Guadalupe in a tortilla. Don't get me started. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, all I what want for the, Christmas is, is the virgin in a tortilla. The, yeah, but mm -hmm. that's the this is the stuff that breaks my heart open, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's the kind of stuff I remember. I haven't heard a good like Jesus in my toast for how long? How Jesus long has Jesus in my toast? <laughs> take it by the hand. Yes. But do you know it? I oh, mean, yes. that's the stuff that I'm talking about. I know. That's the heartbeat of America. Mm -hmm. Like that is the stuff we got to get back to. Yeah. So this kind of stuff, like that's I mean, scary. <laughs> <laughs> The blood it, prince must die. Voldemort, it, stop it. It reminds me of the volleyball in the movie Cast Away with Tom. Oh, uh, oh, Nelson. Nelson. It's very, I, I'm going to say. It's Wilson. 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 Yeah, Nelson, sorry. Yeah, Nelson Mandela. Nelson. Yeah, I love that movie. It, it's I so love it. Good. It's really good. Oh, I love yeah. every character, especially <laughs> Nelson. Man, yeah. yeah, I think that's what it was. Like Nelson, it was something like that. Like a present. Wilson the volleyball. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. How did we forget? What? This, yeah. What other animals? Um, I'm trying to think if there's like another animal. Oh, no. You know what? What? I'm mixing up my folklore and nature, which I do all the time. <laughs> it's like, have you ever? Here's the thing. Mm. Just because Halloween's over doesn't mean I like to live spooky mm -hmm. all year round. I love spooky all year round. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Google skinwalkers. It's my favorite thing in the world. Are we going to do that now? Not right now. But oh. like that is, that is, okay. Maybe we do it. Maybe today's the day we Google I skinwalkers. I actually do. Oh, it's my favorite thing. So a skinwalker is like a spirit in the woods. Yeah. Usually in like, I want to say like Appalachia. You're from there. Yeah, I'm familiar, right? You've never seen a skinwalker? No, because I don't know what it is. It is a spirit that can turn itself into an animal. But they're like bad spirits. See, look. So. Oh, 
Okay. You're like, now we're talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yes, that yeah, I've seen two of those. That. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Um, You're like, I have two of those in my backyard right now. <laughs> yep. Couple I think we're skateboarders right now. Just <laughs> now I'm a squirrel. <laughs> but they do that. They like transform into like different animals. And some people on one of my favorite YouTube channels called Slapped Ham, which I love, okay. people will send in videos of like, here we have an occurrence that happened in New Zealand in 2012. A dog is walking across the street when all of a sudden it stands upright and turns to be a human. And I'm like, I'm in! <laughs> like, okay, but question. Yeah. Now, when they do that, though, do they actually see, do they actually show they documentation? Show the video. Yeah. Because here's the thing. I love ghosts and spirits yeah. and stuff like that. I highly believe in it. I think it's crazy. And I always watch these ghost shows. Mm -hmm. And they go the entire show. And they build never. it up, build it up. And they never. They're never. like, we had one beep. Did you hear it? If you just put your if you put your ear up to the TV, you can hear it's a slight. Yeah. Did you hear it? It's like, <laughs> get out. You're like, what was that? <laughs> get out. Was like, that get out? Get out. And it just sounds like that. And you're like, no, no, that's just someone farted. It was a tight fart. That's what I mean. I just, that's, I want to actually see. The shit. Something. Yeah. And I've never seen anything. They show, yes. Yeah, so Slapped Ham is this guy in like Australia. And like these people send in videos of like weird phenomenon happening. And they get it on like, they find it from TikTok. They find it from Instagram, social media, all over. And they like, they're like, tell me what you think in the comments below. <laughs> I've never commented, but I want to. <laughs> What's the craziest one you've seen of all the skinwalkers? Oh, man. I mean... And are they always in Appalachia or are they around the world? They're all over. There's like all some over. in like Mexico. I think the scariest one I saw was, it's called a rake. Okay. And there's a video of it. It's R-A-K-E, if you want to see it. I do want to okay, see okay, it. I'm so, so it's, into that stuff. Um. No, that's just, That's a rake. That's, that's an, an actual, actual rake. rake. Yeah. Okay. Just say what rake about, monster. That's it. There's rake, one on rake, Do rake monster video. Yeah. So it's that oh, thing. Okay. So go to videos. I love Wait, that. No, 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 no. And they prove that it, that it's real. No, because they just get scared. The videographers get scared? Mm -hmm. Said Zom. There was one, the one that I'm talking about, I can't remember where it was, but like there, there's these guys and they're like in a field and they have like night vision goggles on. Right. And they're like talking to themselves in Spanish or it might be Portuguese. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Uh -huh. But they're walking and they have the night vision on and one of them steps on like a stick or so. It's like a crunch. Right. And all of a sudden you just see this thing just go... No! Yes, and I'm like, and, no! they, and they freak out. They're like, ah! And they run off and the eyes are glowing. No, I'm out. Like that thing chasing I, you, that's the skin. Walk. No, yeah. it, come on. Yep, yep. How do they prove that it's real and not AI? Actually, I take that back. This is Lamar Odom's sex doll. <laughs> that's what, I meant that the whole time. It's a sex tape? Oh, look at it. Ugh, gross. <laughs> all right, moving on. I could talk about rakes all day. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we have Gwyneth Paltrow, who was spotting chowing down on steak ice cream at a New York City hotspot after getting blasted. Can we just end with just getting blasted? That would be just fun. Period. No, she's getting blasted for a, her starvation diet. Now, you remember Gwyneth Paltrow, the queen of goop? Hmm. Um, she is just getting... Look, everyone can deal with grief their own way. Now, she was seen eating a steak sandwich, fries, ice cream sundae. Um, she was at, uh, she was ordering the Wagyu French dip sandwich, um, a classic sea salt fry, and Samoa sundae while she dined uh, with another friend. Now, she's getting so much shit because she just drinks bone broth and all the goop food. Right. Um, wait, hold on here. Go up right now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Go down, 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 down. Rich Kids of Beverly Hills star Morgan Stewart was also at a booth next to them. I knew it! Morgan Stewart, I see you! <laughs> That's my old co-host from What the Fashion. Of course she was sitting next to Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> eating a Sunday. Bitch, I see you. Um, this new sighting comes almost two years after Paltrow admitted in an episode of The Art of Being Well podcast that she practices intermittent fasting and typically eats bone broth for lunch and paleo food for dinner. 
At the time, the uh, former View co-host, Megan McCain, uh, love Megan McCain, criticized the Oscar winner's washed-out appearance. <laughs> uh, <God>. Megan, <laughs> I swear, you can take the girl out of Arizona, but you can't take the Arizona out of the girl. McCain also blasted the Goop founder for broadcasting her lifestyle to the world and selling it on her lifestyle's brand's website. So pretty much it was like, starve yourself to look better, blah, 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 blah. And then you cut to good old Gwyneth, just... <laughs> just, oh my God, is that a rake? No, that's Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Hey, Gwyneth, I thought you were cutting back on the french fries. <laughs> Lay off me, I'm starving. <laughs> but can we say, okay, but she was also criticized. I think it's good. Good for you. Good. Eat, girl, eat. eat. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Like, everybody criticized her for so long. It's like, Gwyneth, like the, you know, middle America is like, we can't afford your kind of diet. I mean, yeah. my God, a cucumber costs $32, and all you do <laughs> is cutting them up, eating them, and then putting them on your eyes. We need to tell we need these to, people to yeah. stop shopping at Air One. It's as simple as that just don't go to Air One. You know where you know where a cucumber is thirty two dollars. Air One. Don't go there. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing. I don't. I don't even get me started on Air One. Oh, I, I, Air I, One. there's no way in hell. It's, I went there once and was like, this is stupid. I hate so myself. Dumb. It's so carrots. Yeah, literally are eighty seven dollars and sixty two cents. It's the just stupidest thing, one. and people are like, what a deal. No, yeah. I hate it. But this is actually Gwyneth Paltrow's diet right here. It's just well, comedy store water. Yeah, she's like, I am full. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for the first time, I think it's a good thing that she's I actually love eating it. a wagyu steak and some French fries. Yeah, like, and get off her dick. Like let her <laughs> let her eat a ch chocolate sundae. But I think people are saying like, what a hypocrite she is because it's like mm, my lifestyle, my body. This is just what I do. Here's my fridge tour. One thousand. But it's also like those pa you know pastors. This is a controversial issue. But like you know who get up and praise Jesus. Good Lord, if man and woman, if I have a child. And you are going through the gates of heaven. You enter the pearly gates because you are with man, with woman, and with child. Mm -hmm. That is what the good Lord will love to have you come on in. Mm -hmm. And then they go have their pooch sucked in the bushes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. By like some, it's like it doesn't really. Hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy. what that was. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was an act out. That whole was act out was yeah. just the definition ding, ding, of hypocrisy. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. You win. Thank you yes. so much. Yeah. Oh, water. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Boom broth. Thank you. But yeah, here That's she is right saying. here. She's like, oh, I'm just, just drinking my orange juice. Not even orange juice, just a juice that is orange. You know, but here's the thing. Even if she were to eat 17 pounds of um, Ham. beef chicken. Uh, would you say beef chicken? Sure. <laughs> beef Rib chips. <laughs> pork loin. Whatever. 17 pounds of beef chicken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bacon okay. chips. Okay. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Lard nuggets. I'm just saying, like, she could... Oh, she could afford... That looks really good. A full-on colonic that could rip her organs out of her body God, the next day. Do you understand? I want right now... As a good fucking colonic. Just an organ-ripping colonic. I want 1978 ripped out of my body. Anything I've had. I want apple juice. I want cream cheese. I want an old boot. I want a grape. Uh, a, a rim tire. That's tire like, rim. Out. Out. All out one vessel. An old tackle box. Yeah. All out of my body. I know. I want the hand of some coffee enema just to run up there and just grab every rib tip I've ever thought about and wow. bring it out of my body. That's what I want. I'm going to weigh zero pounds. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want the <laughs> La Brea Tar Pits in a plastic tube running out of my body. Oh, love it. With mm -hmm. a good, like, chunks. Like a us. good mammoth femur just going by. <laughs> lo love to hear it. <laughs> Every bone out. Every everything. I'm telling you, they are so weighty. Like uh, they really are. Oh, like I want if it. I didn't have bones, I would be so thin. Uh, that's what I'm gonna ask Santa for this year. No bones. Boneless. <laughs> I'd like to be a boneless chicken nugget. Thank you. I want to be that thing at the end of the substance. Just I want to be Sue and <laughs> and Elizabeth Sparkle combined. <laughs> I just want to be like. <laughs> Just, I want to be like a, a like a bowl of shit on the subway. That's what I want. I want to be churned in a butter bowl. I just want to be liquid that you can just pour on top of your steak and lifeless. <laughs> I just want. You want to be an ajou? I want to be an ajou. I do. I just want to evaporate into the air. That's how light I am. That's how thin <gasps> I got. She's gone. <laughs> She's literally You're just there. like dissipating. It's like, where did Sarah go? Thank you. 
And then you're the first ghost on Ghost Hunters. There it is. <laughs> you are All the comes wind back. Look, see that? Oh, okay. No, 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 you're fine. Oh, the documentary. Did you watch out? it? Yes. Oh. Okay, mid. That was almost a lie. I'm sorry. I'm midway through and then I fell okay, asleep. Okay, that's fine. But At I least love you it. were on it. We I'm were talking it. about the Martha documentary mm. that is on Netflix. It is so good. It's great. <laughs> I love like, this I have, bitch. I, yeah. You know, it's crazy because it's like I've known Martha Stewart my whole life. Not personally, but like, you know, like, she's been in the spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's done a couple of my parties. Um, but like, what a, like, what a life. Like, start out from nothing. Like, she j- gets into modeling. Yeah. Then she like watches her mom cook and she starts like cooking up stuff. Then starts a catering business. No, then she becomes a stockbroker. I know. Okay. Out of no, I know. No, I, yeah, please. And then Sorry. she gets like into catering and like starts catering all these parties. You know what I loved about it is that, and this is no like spoiler alert, but highly recommend watching Martha. It's so good. It's like an hour and a half. You'll love it. Um, is that I did not know that, um, uh, wait, what was that? What did I not know? Uh, that I didn't know like that she doesn't know what adultery is. <gasps> Okay, but can we talk about, I think it's her friend. It has to be a friend who's interviewing her because he does jab at her a little bit where he was like about the adultery uh-huh. on her part, uh-huh. right? Because she was like, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're married to a no good son of a bitch who <laughs> cheats on you, you get out of there. But that was later. <laughs> she talks about like, oh, I was 19. I, I mean, I'm. We did, first of all, hmm. this bitch took a five-month long honeymoon. Yeah, she Five, five months! months. Five month long honeymoon. Cause she married a guy rich. who was really rich. I know. Five months. Five months. And what she does is that she goes to the Domo in mm-hmm. Italy. She meets this guy. Meets a guy. Having a moment. She's like, oh, it's just the energy in this Domo is just like really giving. And she called it art, Justin. Yeah. She called it, it was like an art moment. And yeah. the guy was like, wait a minute, you yeah. you kissed a guy. You were married on she your honeymoon. sees this guy and she, like a stranger, they lock eyes. She's married and then kisses him in the domo. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, that was it. That was all. It was magic. And then she justifies it with like, everyone should experience. <laughs> I love her ways. I'm everyone everyone needs to at least try it once. And I'm like, Infidelity? Martha. It is. She's stunning. Mm -hmm. She is stunning because she does it again. I'm like, wow. Because the guy who's interviewing her. Yeah. You know, you can see there's like a camera and he has a little laptop and whatever. And he's like, but you, you know, kind of along the lines of like, but you were married like on your honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's like, you know, that every single affair she ever had was justified. Yeah. She was like, was I being naughty? (laughs) No, you weren't being naughty. Okay. Then I wasn't being naughty. (laughs) But you were being adulterous. I wasn't. It was just a, you don't know. Yeah, you just don't other, know. You can't explain it. No, we can. I, no, we can't. We can't. But then he cheats. And then... <sighs> but that, like, so then she goes on to, I mean, she talks about her legal issues, which was incredible. Because mm-hmm. I didn't really like know that story, really. Mm-hmm. But like how she just kind of got thrown into it. Because again, I feel like the New York district attorney was just like, oh, this, this is the first female um, billionaire, self-made billionaire, excuse me, Martha. And they just kind of like went after her to like, they called her a trophy and like, oh, we want to shut her down and show show that we still got it. Mm -hmm. And she went to jail for like five months. And I thought it was actually longer, but but then she goes on to um, talk about the trial. Mm -hmm. And she's saying this woman, um, I guess who worked for the New York Post... Was it the New York Post? Here, can we? I haven't gotten that far. I would, I would aid in in factual information support, but I don't. I didn't get that hold far. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm only at the part where she's walking around the gardens, barking orders at people and telling people not to clip the dead parts. Oh, that's a good part. Oh my god! And she's telling she's people so not to break bossy. the pots. Don't break those pots, Miguel. <laughs> yes. Miguel, do not break the pots. New York Post. New York Post. Thank you. So yes, yeah, so she was talking about this woman who um, was documenting the trial that she was on. And she goes on to say like, oh, she was writing all this nasty stuff about me and uh, she just wouldn't leave me alone. And then in the documentary, she says, but she's dead now, so it's totally fine. Well, 
This woman says, well, I was there in 2004 when the uproarious trial began with court officers acting as Martha's personal valets, clearing the ice in front of the courthouse so that the defendant and her entourage would have an unslippery path from limo to building. Sitting front and center throughout the six-week event was a veritable celebrity petting zoo. Uh, her famous pals and whatnot, they shielded their tired tissues from the hard wooden benches. Oh, I love all this like <sighs> scene setup. No, the High-end edge. gel pads provided by the entertainment group we rather the rest of us mortals suffered in the cheap seats. So this woman was like, I'm not dead, bitch. I'm right here. <gasps> See, I haven't gotten so, that far. But no, no, no. This happened after the documentary. So she, in the documentary, she's like, oh, this woman was writing nasty but, stuff about me, but yeah. she's dead now. It's fine. And the woman's like, bitch, <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing, too. Not this. <laughs> This woman wants to, like, yes, take a piece of plywood and swing it on the back of Martha. Okay, but yeah. why did she? Why did Martha think that she was dead? Martha's train Martha of thinking Martha can think whatever is, she wants. Okay. She got out of jail and immediately thought that woman passed. Because <laughs> she made up her mind like, and her well, reality yeah, that she had yeah. passed. I did my term. She's dead. I was gone for so long, she must have expired while I was in prison. Okay. That's five months, Martha. <laughs> Well, how long does it usually take for people to expire? I only know dairy products and... (laughs) (laughs) And eggs. And eggs. When things expire. But this woman came out and was like, um, I'm still here. So I highly recommend watching Martha. It's currently streaming on Netflix. It's so good. No, I'm I'm actually... America's first, I will agree, America's first social media influencer. No, 100%. Mm -hmm. I still don't... I mean, like, I love... You can tell that she... But I also love the other side of it where people are like, she was a real bitch, you know? Let her be. That's what I'm saying. Let her be a bitch. But you can see that's... I love people that are at that status in their life because they've gone through Mm -hmm. things that Mm -hmm. have rewired their brain that you literally get to physically watch the documentation of. Okay? Yeah. Like, you're like, oh my God. Yeah. You are not living in And any- like how some of the pictures that she has, I'm like, how do they have those? It was like a picture of her and like her husband like buying a movie ticket, but from the box office? I'm like, who took this picture? <laughs> I only- from inside the box office of them being like... <laughs> I'm like, what in the Heather Dubrow shit is going on here? I think that about every document, a documentary, though. Yeah, how do they have all these pictures? How do they have all of that? Like, and even all, like, the murder mysteries or whatever, the, like, how they have all of the tapings mm-hmm. and the voice recordings and stuff like that. Conspiracy theories. Like, the voicemails and stuff? Yeah, or, like, how do you have... Calls who? from Washington, D.C.? <laughs> yeah, like, we're, like, a clue murder mystery. From Washington, D.C., Well, here's another thing that is just lighting the internet on fire. This man stopped drinking water completely during his Dr. Pepper addiction. So his name is Tom Bowie, or Bowie. He estimates that he spent more than $300 a month on the carbonated soda saying, that's all I was drinking. Oh, God, there's always one. A man who was so addicted to Dr. Pepper that he stopped drinking any water whatsoever and estimates he spent more than $300 a month. Uh, He hails from the English town of Marlowe, shared that his friends called him Dr. Pepper Man. Wow. Really nail it on the head there. (laughs) So creative. Yeah. Like right outside that box. Hello, here comes Dr. (laughs) Pepper Man. Oh, is that Tim Bowie? No, that's Dr. Pepper Man. That's... And then the face of the fish comes out. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, the koi fish is like, bitch, I want to say Dr. Pepper Man. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, he said that at one point he was downing five liters of soda a day. The warehouse manager says his habit started simply enough with just one can a day. Um, it started with one drink with lunch and then... Me and my work colleagues started buying each other drinks throughout the day. They'd bring them over from the cafe near work. There was a vending machine, so I could just pop in and get one whenever I wanted. Before I knew it, that's all I was drinking, and then I stopped drinking water completely. Okay. Mm. I refuse to have Dr. Pepper shaming on this podcast. Do you love Dr. Pepper? Absolutely. But I drink water because... I am a squirrel person. (laughs) (laughs) Don't try to give the doctor or the Diet Coke effect to Dr. Pepper. 
Because Diet Coke addiction is a real thing. Are you a Diet Coke drinker? I was a Diet Coke drinker. You were? But I'm not a Diet Coke drinker. How did you break the habit? Um, Because my mom drank a lot of Diet Coke. Yeah. And I was like, I don't... I, I don't know. I, it didn't make me... Uh, it makes me feel bad. Like, it just doesn't make me feel good. So I just stopped drinking it. There's, but I love it. Don't ugh, get me wrong. I love it. I hate it. I'm sorry. I only like it from McDonald's fountain drinks, though. Like, the things. But it, that's the only time I'll ever drink it with French fries. I, it's, and Dr. Pepper's it's my fries. favorite soda mm-hmm. in the world. Okay. But I know that I'm not going to drink it all day. And also that I'm not going to drink it instead of water. Like, that's insane. But can we go back to the story and see, like, like did he... Let's see. So, he said, for a while, my, my teeth weren't too bad. But then I went to the dentist and he said the level of acid erosion was similar to what he'd expect in a 70-year-old. He's like, I was also feeling really bloated all the time as well. You gain a lot of weight when you're just drinking sugar. Yeah, no shit. Like, this is just so weird. He's like, oh, I forgot to drink water. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But why is that? Is that a before and after photo of like... Oh, this is him before and this is him. It's the same picture. He's just holding a water bottle. I don't understand. That's still him. I know, but why? You said he's not drinking water. He's holding a water. On the left, he's not drinking water. He's getting married. On the left. And then on the right, he's divorced because of his Dr. Pepper addiction and now he drinks water. (laughs) I don't know if he's so divorced. Is, I was like, he got divorced. I missed that in the story. Um, yeah. But is that is he supposed to showing that he's like slimmed down? Yeah. Like the water drinkage? hmm But is it though? I don't know. <laughs> it could have about the angle and the lighting. I don't know. But I don't But know. also, like, of course you put on a shirt that says animal across it w- while you're drinking water. Yeah, you're very hardcore there, Tom. You you show him, man. <laughs> Hey, bros, I drink water now. Oh, fuck. There comes Tom. You mean Dr. Pepper? Man, <laughs> shut your mouth. He drinks water now. <laughs> I've only known Tom as Dr. Pepper, man. Hey, he's changed. He's different now. <laughs> he drinks water. <laughs> like the rest of us? Water. Yeah. Oh, right this way, Tom. It's good to call you by your surname. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, fans claim, let's see, speaking of water and hydration, Sabrina Carpenter, who's on the tour, uh, a tour right now, uh, just been nominated for a Grammy, lots of Grammy noms that came out. Fans claim that a woman peed in a pit and uh, they all had to leave. So let's read a little bit of the story. I love Sabrina Carpenter. I think she's having such a moment. So they were saying, peas, peas, peas. <laughs> Oh. But people were saying, please, please, please be warm water because several posted on social media saying they got straight up peed on by a fellow fan who unleashed her stream in the middle of the pit. First of all, Sabrina Carpenter and Pitt don't match. They don't match. I don't like it. Having I, a pit? The pit. Yeah, not When I think of pit, I think of, ooh, ah, 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 you know, oh, like, like people like elbowing. Yes. Chair slamming. Yeah, not a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sabrina took the stage at Chase Center in San Francisco and serenading that packed the crowd at the arena. <clears throat> uh, while her show seemed to go off without a hitch, some fans in the pit said their night wasn't so clean, literally because they swear a woman squatted down and took a piss right next to them. Mm-mm. Worth noting, there's no video of anyone actually peeing, but these fans filmed the aftermath of the alleged bathroom experience, capturing a huge puddle staining the floor. Everyone quickly moved away from it, leaving a huge crater in the crowd. Fans could do the same if someone simply spilled a beer, though it's a concert and it's sort of par for the course. Urine in the pit, a bit less common. <gasps> um, I will say this. Um, at least they weren't having espresso. Because then it would have been... But um, uh, a mud fight... Mm-hmm. Ew. What was the thing that they used to call it when the girls... mud? Yeah, it was like mud wrestling. Ew. Mud wrestling. Don't you remember like in 1984 or something when the girls would wear bikinis and they would put mud and it was like in a children's pool? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? And they were like, eh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then they, they yeah you have, could actually see that on Wicked.com. <laughs> Yeah. And let's all bring it back to yeah. Wicked.com. Yeah. Just girls mud wrestling. Wicked.com. So I'm just saying... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Could you imagine a 
imagine somebody just squatted and took a dig Rhea dump? Here's the thing. I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not justifying it, but it was San Francisco. <laughs> just. <laughs> mm. And I love San Francisco. If you're in San Francisco, shout out San Francisco, but like. The anals are loose. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like people are. But I didn't also, mean it like that. I didn't mean it to be gross. That was no. not a pun. I just meant, you know, they're, you know. Two girls, one espresso. Sure. Right. <laughs> Thank you for the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. But also, Sabrina Carpenter fans, what are they called? Carpenters? I don't know what mm. they're called. Level up. Do what Taylor's doing. Like, her fans come to concerts with diapers on. Just wear a diaper. Do they really? I think so. Because they have to sit for so long yeah. and do the thing? Yeah, I'm going to wear a diaper. Wait, but don't you think, like, I'm going to wear an alphabet diaper. Alcohol was probably in involved. Like, don't you don't you think there was, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're inebriated, so you're like, I'm just going to go right here. Take them down, Stacey. Just pull your pants You think down. that at a Sabrina Carpenter concert? Sure. If they're doing that at a Sabrina Carpenter concert, I am terrified what they are like on the outside world. <laughs> if you're that much of a monster at a Sabrina Carpenter concert, you should be committed. Understood. Noted. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I, yeah. no matter what, like, alcohol poisoning has no... They Just go to the bathroom. Less. They can't. That's the thing. Like, you're in the pit. So <laughs> you're committed. Uh, like, if you're in the pit, which you probably paid a lot of money for. For the pit? Yes. Okay. This, the carpenter pit. Mm -hmm. So you are probably <laughs> locked and loaded. Mm -hmm. You've waited for Sabrina for probably uh, since the day you were born. Mm -hmm. Sabrina! 2010. Like, right? you, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right. You've been yelling that for six hours. Yeah. She finally gets there. Yeah. You're like a case of beer in just because you snuck it in probably or your friend. You know what I mean? Are you do like, kids drink wine coolers anymore? I hope to God they do. I doubt I it. really do too. <laughs> That's such a rite of passage. I think they're just doing like the hard stuff now. Now they are. Yeah. yeah. There's there no was like a time. Zimas with the, with the Jolly, Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher in, in the bottom. Yeah. Or just like a good Boone's Farm, like yeah. Strawberry Hill. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pour it into your Dr. Pepper, oh, right? Oh, God. I'm going to do that after this podcast. That, thank you. It's mm. been that good. Mm. So I, um, I don't know how to take that, but that's okay. I, But that's all I'm saying is yeah. that I think once you're, if you're that big of a super fan, you're locked and loaded. You're like, and you're, let's just, let's just say they're inebriated. Let's just say they wouldn't do that completely. So right, right, right. Like I could almost put myself in those shoes. And if you like, I would just be like, just go. Just, just go, do it. Rachel. It's You're okay. so brave. Just do it. Yeah. You guys, leave her alone. <laughs> yeah. She's just peeing. We all do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and everyone's like, move away from them. Yeah, yeah. be free, girl. Yeah. That's, this I'm is just... for women everywhere. <laughs> 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 that... <laughs> yeah. I know, it little came out. Yeah. It's okay, tacos are hard. Yeah, like, yeah, it's okay. Like that, I'm just saying, like if I were that friend, I'd be like, let it go, girl, let tacos it go. Are hard. <laughs> Yeah, they're hard to keep in. They are. They are super. It's not. It's a delicious choice, but give the aftermath. It's oh, okay. Well, I think you just justified her. it. Now yes, I can. I see know it. it's a justification. I feel like Martha Stewart right now. Like it wasn't an affair. Like I'm just. Saying. It was just a little piddle. She just had a little piddle. It wasn't a lot of pee like the news media outlets want you to believe. That's around propaganda. I'm just saying it's too much. They've overdone it. I yeah. think it was a little slither. Yeah, uh, an essence of piddle. An essence of pedal. Just a <laughs> if you wafted it, it was you a, could probably be like, is that urine? But like, I don't know. Not, it's a pedal waft. That's all yeah, I'm saying. We love it. I am I just want to represent her. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, feminism I've, is I've, not dead. I've been there. It's it's a tough... Sorry, go ahead. Well, have you been here? Mm. You've, you've, you've peed in public, but have you been here? Tori Spelling says that she feels like a stupid girl reminding Brian Austin Green of the first time they had sex. So <sighs> she says, I feel like I'm hearing a story of you and someone else right now. Uh, Brian Austin Green said a spelling recount of the story of her misspelling podcast. Now, we love a good Tori Spelling podcast because we have no idea what we're going to get. So Tori Spelling and Brian Austin Green from 90210 reflected on their relationship while they were both on the show debating whether they were were ever even dating. Both were hesitant to label it as that, uh, saying it was much more. That label of like, oh, boyfriend, girlfriend, are you dating? That almost felt disrespectful to me because it's like, no, we went through way more than just what normal people go through when they were dating. Like, oh, we dated and then we broke up. We never did anything. We never broke up. We never said it's just you and me. Let's try. So 
clearly this is very, very wordy, mm. but they were boyfriend, girlfriend on 90210. Um, so there they are. Can we go go a little further? Oh. So Good here thing. we go. So spelling then recalled a time when uh, Fox, who was had 90210 on, rented out Disneyland for the 90210 cast, and she and Green spent the entire day fighting. We used to have these huge blowout fights, um, Brian said, and I think a lot of that was attraction and a lot of that was really coming of age in it all. As Spelling told more of the story, teasing that the argument ended in the two having sex for the first time, Green insisted that he didn't remember those details. (gasps) I was like, why are you always getting mad? Why are we... Uh, always fighting, Spelly said. And you said, have you ever thought that maybe I fight with you because I love you? No, I did not, Green said, calling the moment magical. Wow. So she said that they had sex and he's like, no, we didn't. Um, (laughs) So this is the best. She goes, yeah. And you were probably saying, I love you. Like we're sister and brother, like friends. And I was like, he said, I love you. And then we started kissing. Wait, What? I love this story, Brian Austin Green jokes. I feel like I'm hearing a story of you and someone else right now. I feel like such a stupid girl right now, Tori said. She went on to tell the story, saying that because they were in public, Green proposed that they go back to the hotel. The next morning, Spelling recalled going to the hotel lobby to call co-star Jenny Garth to tell her the news. She was the first person I told. She says, you're not going to believe what happened. Brian and I slept together. She was like, what? Green then noted, I remember other times, but I do not remember that time at all. I don't know how that's possible. That is humiliating. Has that ever happened to you? That uh, uh, that a guy told me that we never like I was like we slept together. Have and you or like, like have you ever forgotten that you like slept with someone? I don't think so. I'm not gonna lie. Even in blackouts, I don't think so. I think I always remember. Do you? Yeah. <gasps> like which way? <laughs> Like, which way? <laughs> what do you mean, which Top way? Top bottom. No, I mean, like, I meant, like, <laughs> as you. somebody said that you... Well, I'll tell you a story. So, my old place, I was moving in. Okay. And I was moving in by myself. And um, the neighbor, my neighbor, walked by while my door was open. And he was like, oh, you're the new neighbor, huh? And I'm like, yeah, I'm Justin. How's it going? And he's like... I know you. Mm. And I'm like, "Mm, no, I don't think so. He's like, I think we hooked up. And I'm like, "Mm, no, I don't think he's, I don't think so. And he's like, yeah, we did. Mm. And I'm like, well, bye. (laughs) Like, had no recollection of that at all. Don't remember. But what if he thought you were somebody different and you actually didn't have anything to do with them? That's what I thought. Right. But he was committed. He was definitely committed. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Did you ask questions? Were you like, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> I would Just deny, that. deny, deny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be like, well, how was that D? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to, I don't want to know. But that definitely has happened. But I feel like Tori was like, I don't know. And also, I don't like that formula. Let's go to Disneyland, then go to a hotel and. <laughs> you feel up. like Tori was like over ambitious to have this relationship. Yeah. Well, yeah, because, I mean, look. But would it... No, it's... I mean, it's... You're on the hottest show ever in the 90s, and, like, this is, like, your boyfriend? Yeah, of course, and you're going through puberty and hormones, and, like, yeah, like... Mm. No, I'm... I'm, And, like, honestly, like... Which part? (laughs) What... What's the read on this face? Which part? It's Tori. (laughs) <laughs> it's not Shannon or Jenny. It's Tori. I know, Jenny. Girl. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like well, Shannon had... I mean, but... Okay. Shannon had Luke Perry. <laughs> Was that good or bad? Were you more of a Luke Perry or... Um, Brandon? Brandon. Luke. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, the dark, like, bad boy. That was your thing? Yeah. I think I like the other one more. Well, Jason was, like, nice and sweet, like, Midwest and Beverly Hills. And, like, Dylan was just, like... The hardest 17-year-old there ever was. You know, you're like, are you 40? <laughs> That's Maybe. what I mean. He was 48. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I forgot I am was jacket. there. And Which then there one? was Andrea. <gasps> what was Andrea doing? And then the really smart Andrea. Bless her heart. She was like, going to live with her grandmother to change her zip code. Remember? <laughs> I don't even she live in this did. zip code. Get away from us. I live with my grandmother. <laughs> it's all a lie. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I always thought that even then, even then, I had the intuition. I was like, what is she doing there? Why was she, is she yeah. a school counselor? Is she <laughs> undercover? Like, what like is this? like she was this? an undercover cop. Yeah, but like, yeah. but like mingling with the students. But also, can we talk about that she was 56, playing a 17-year-old? Can we also talk about that? Can we That's, also talk yeah. about the short bob cut? And yeah. yeah. She was actually the president of SAG <laughs> while she was a high school student at... at <laughs> <laughs> she put herself on this show. Yeah, like, she, I can be here too. And like, we have to let her. Like, yeah. we just, she pays the bills. Can yeah. we just give her a line? What was her real name? Exactly. I don't, no one, she was never in a calendar. She wasn't in Bop. Like, we never saw her again. <laughs> Do you know, I think she went on to like real estate or like insurance sales. I don't know. But what is her name? See? Gabrielle Why? Carteris. Gabrielle, Gabrielle Carteris. Carteris. Like, what a good undercover name for a high school student. I got it. Andrea Zuckerberg. <laughs> Got it. Cool. Was her last name Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg? Was she related to Facebook Zuckerberg? No, this was before. So she's probably like a cousin. Oh my God. Andrea Zuckerberg, was right? Was it like a conspiracy theory yeah. from way back when 90210? 90210. Where are they now? Andrea Zuckerberg. Follow is, the money. Look at her. I mean, my God. I remember this picture. Uh, Suck out like a sore thumb. She looks like, like she's the their the summer camp picture. counselor. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> who was like, I want to hang out with you guys. Awesome. And they're like, fuck. Yeah. I don't want to. But they like signed their cards. Yeah. To, like told their parents. They're like, they got hey, you guys, have you guys heard about daiquiris? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got her to buy the booze. They're like, just let her fucking come. Like, I don't have my card yet. Like, Ms. Andrea does. Like, just let her hang. Let her hang. But her glasses, oh my God. Well, when she She's... takes it off her glasses, she looks like a student. <laughs> <laughs> totally. She's friends with my mom, though. I know. But like, just... It's just a summer, Brandon. And like, that's what I feel like happened. She's like, guys! And yeah. every picture she photobombs, she's like, let's get a pic. But see, Here comes Andrea. I'll get on top! <laughs> like, at the top of the pyramid. They're like, fuck! Andrea, you're a base. Yeah. <laughs> get down there. Yeah. But I'm small! <laughs> no, you're not, <laughs> Andrea. Get down there. Know your place. But here's the but thing. But my glasses will break. Sorry. <laughs> now, now I don't feel bad for Tori because you know Andrea's out there like... Sex with Dylan outside of a yeah. golden corral. They're like, no, you didn't, yeah. Andrea. You're a liar. Stop it. Dylan would never touch you. <laughs> Completely delusional. Dylan was on a bike. You were like at your book committee. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, you fucking loser. We did it in my station wagon. I'm kidding. I don't have a station wagon. That it's was that, okay. My... It's my grandma's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's silly. I'm young. Remember? <laughs> Yay, let's smoke. Illegally. <laughs> Remember me? Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm not a virgin. Check my hole. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. If anybody wants to. Like, Don, like, like, uh, Brenda's like, Kelly, I got my period. Andrea's like, I'm going through menopause. <laughs> <laughs> What's menopause? I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, I have a heavy flow as well. <laughs> Who has a pad? Anyone? It's got to be thick because I'm a bleeder. Seriously. You know how youth does that to you? Oh, my God. I'm breaking out. Does anybody need zit cream? Oh, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm oily. Oh squirrel my tears God. are real. Squirrel tears are real. Oh, I could bash Andrea Zuckerberg for days. All day. Well, now looking back, now looking back, vision is 2020. The whole looking time. Looking back. Uh, the whole time she was Is that there. it? Is that all of our stories for today? Oh my gosh, that's it. Do you have anything else you want to say? I feel like we could like talk about for hours. Andrea Zuckerberg. Like, and how awful she is. Yeah. God, that really hit a core for me. That's I cannot good. believe it. Now I have to go sc scounge through every, was it the 80s, 90s? When was it? 90s. Show? In the 90s? I'm going yeah. to have to go through all of, like, uh, what was the other one? Saved by the Bell? Saved by the Bell. I have to ream through that one to see who else is 48 in that show that I to totally missed. I don't know if anybody was 48, but I just remember, like, like, Zach Morris was definitely a sexual awakening for me, for sure. Really? Screech was for me. <laughs> that was like, oh, Who was? Okay. Screech. Uh, Screech. Yeah. Well, hmm. really? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I just always related to Screech. I just, no, I I, I dug. I dug it. Because he was like the, the, the weird guy. Yeah, you're like, what? He's, uh, where, where, where are they? I definitely, we have to like, I'll have you back. Here's what's going to happen. I will have you back oh, and we will go through a full on like 90s TV like shows and just give it, give it give all. Give it our all. I mean, look at this teacher. Uh, Mr. Right. Belding. Mr. Belding. That's right. Yeah. 
Like, where's Mr. Belding now? But yeah, just kind of like the hair, uh, what the hands, time. the small hands. Like, there's so much going on. Why are they on a scooter? They're on a scooter. They're on a, the 90s. a red like a, scooter. a cherry red 90s scooter. There's seven of them mm-hmm. on one scooter. Mm-hmm. I mean, what was the art direction on that? Hey, guys, let's get a whole group. What are we missing? What are we missing? What could we all... How about a, a one scooter, a scooter? A one, a one, a one scooter. <laughs> yeah, seven kids, one scooter. Yep. See, it all comes back. That should all came back around uh, something in one one. Sarah, this has been an absolute pleasure. Oh, uh, it was okay. Please come back. Please yeah. tell what do you have going on? What what can, where can people find you? All of it. All of it. Come on, yeah. Um, Instagram, Sarah Eileen Rosenstein. Come on over. I'm on TikTok sometimes, but only when we do our videos. I'll it's go hard. On TikTok. It it's is hard. It's hard doing the TikTok. It's hard doing the TikTok. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like I wish I had that motivation to do a TikTok. Yeah. But like edit and. Just, Why is it so hard over there? We won't get hard. into we're, it, but it is older. harder. Yeah, anyway, we're older. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm personally 21, so I'm not sure. What I'm 21 as is. well. Cool. I'm Squirrel 21, <laughs> which could be 95 years old in Squirrel. I have no idea. But please follow Sarah wherever you can. And once again, remember to breathe. Mm-hmm. Remember to just be cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't yeah. be an asshole. Yes. We've got this. And make sure to, you know, rate, review, subscribe. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing all the clips. Like, honestly, like, if we got a good one out of this, let's let it go viral. Thank you. And as always, we will see you next time here on the Just Saying Podcast. You guys have a fantastic week. Bye. Bye. Bye.